Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another TJ Maxx video today. So if you guys are new to this, we go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls every week, see what the new makeup is and beauty stuff. It is so much fun. They always have new things. It's so insane. <laughs> you guys already know. So make sure you subscribe if you are not already because I do these videos every single Sunday and it is so much fun. I love filming them. I love hanging out with you guys. This week I am not sure what I'm really on the hunt for. I haven't seen like a ton of exciting things. There's a lot of cool things from Becca popping up here and there. I need to find that Becca Be A Light palette. I would love to get that. And um, I'm still looking for the Becca Ocean Jewels just to have it in my video because I have not seen that yet either. It's just weird how my stores sometimes get really good stuff and then sometimes I don't get like everything that I see. And I was really wanting that Glam Glow Highlight Palette last week, I think. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm looking for this week and anything else we can find. But let's go ahead and get to shopping. Okay guys, we have some Becca stuff here I wanted to go over it real fast. So it looks like they're bringing back the Volcano Goddess Palette again. I did get this one from my friend Leora and I still need to use it and try it out. But it is $22.99. It used to be cheaper but they did raise the price on this one. But I still wanted to show you guys. And this little kit here, I don't know if I've seen this before or not. There used to be some fun Becca sets in the past. This is the Summer Radiance Kit. It looks like it used to be $25. $5 and it is going here for $12.99 and you get a backlight priming filter and also a sunlit bronzer okay this is definitely new I have not seen this definitely kind of interested in it it's in the shade Capri Coast I might put this in my basket and think about it because I totally thought this was a highlight but so cool that it is a bronzer and then you get the mini primer filter backlight filter as well I thought this set was kind of neat as well from Absolute New York, which is a pretty decent brand. I've seen them before at like a Generation Beauty show, but you get three palettes in here. It's called the Eye Artist Palette, so you get the Art of Nude, the Art of Rose, and then the Art of Smoke. Really cool little set. And then it's only $6.99, which is even better. So you get three palettes for only $7. Such a good deal. Some random CoverGirl stuff here too, um, like this mascara. This is the Super Sizer Mascara, which I feel like is fairly new. Like maybe it came out last year. And this one is $2.99. We have this fun glitter from e.l.f. It's called the Stardust Glitter in the shade Bronze Comet. Really pretty, going for only $2.99. I like never use glitter anymore. I just like quick and easy glitter like the steel ones. I don't like messing around with the loose kind, but this color is really gorgeous. We also have this Becca kit, which I think we've seen before. It's called the Glow Essentials Kit. Um, originally $39 at TJ Maxx, it's $12.99. You get, like, I think it's all mini sizes in the backlight priming filter, the first light priming filter, a shimmery skin perfecter in Moonstone, and then a glow gloss in Champagne Cream, which is a super cute little set. I'm so excited, I finally found the Becca Aperski Glow Face Palette. We found the eye palette last week and I was not having hope that we would see this yet. But um, I believe it's like six different highlighters possibly in here. They're all kind of different shades. It says that it's gonna give you the perfect rosy snow frost glow. It has icicle, there's a mineral blush in here and winter berry, ooh. Okay, I'm kind of interested now. Maybe I should get this one. It looks like it is $19.99, which is, I think, a little bit more than half off, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to think about this little kit as well. I think I would use this a lot more than I would have used the eyeshadow palette. So since it has a blush and everything, I'm definitely intrigued. And then, of course, we have even more Laura Geller stuff here. The Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation. I love their regular baked mineral foundation, I think it is. So good, but I have not tried the illuminating kind. This one is in Golden Medium for only $5.99. They make such good powders. And they also had this, which looks really fun. The Baked Color and Contour. You get a highlight blush and then a bronze sculpt shade here. And this is going for only $7.99. Definitely would definitely pick this up if I didn't buy the other face palette last week, but this looks really nice This is all in one. I have a nice makeup primer here, which is the spackle treatment makeup primer in the mattifying version This is $5.99, which is pretty good 
I might need this for summertime. I think it would be kind of nice. I'm gonna look up some reviews and possibly pick this up because I noticed today it's like 90 and my makeup is like melting off. Oh, this was kind of cute. It's by Yada, which I think I've tried a concealer from them in like an Ipsy bag forever ago. This is the Quick Dry Liquid Eyeliner, sharp and clear line it says for $3.99. And then I saw this fun little Laura Geller set as well. It looks like an old holiday set called the Gold Standard 3-Piece Collection for $9.99. It has a little sensor on it, but you can kind of see what's in here. All right, so I try to move it over. It looks like you get the Gilded Honey Highlight, and then there's a gorgeous Illuminating Body Mist in there, if you guys can see that. And then a Color Luster Lip Gloss, a really nice set from Laura Geller. Seriously, just so impressed with their sets. They have seriously so many cool ones, and they're so cheap too, which is awesome. While I'm here, I'm stocking up on some Shiseido Facial Cotton, because somehow they always have this here, and I'm almost out. This is $3.99, the best cotton ever. Seriously, so soft. And I'm stocking up on some Simple Wipes. Um, these are just makeup remover wipes. Absolutely obsessed with these. These are my all-time favorite, and they're only $2.99 here at TJ Maxx spotted this little guy I saw one of these at Marshall's like maybe a month ago so I wanted to point it out again in case it is restocking at your stores but they do have the Becca in the summer glow Chrissy it's a bronze and glow a little single it's kind of like a bronzer and a highlighter in one it's really cool um, but the price is wrong on this one so they priced it at 19 for some reason I saw another one over here okay well it's supposed to be 9.99 but they have it for 19 which is really annoying but it's supposed to be $9.99, I'm pretty sure. But I did want to point it out if you guys are on the lookout. Um, it's definitely not supposed to be $19, so don't buy it for that price. I saw this little nail set from Salon Perfect, and I thought it was so cute. I love the leopard with the one matte black. I've never tried, like, press-on nails. I don't know if I would like them. Um, you guys will have to let me know if you've tried the, the ones from Salon Perfect. These are $4.99. TJ Maxx also has that by beauty set that we saw at Marshall's last week so I wanted to mention that if you guys are on the lookout for it it was $7.99 for the little mini lipstick and lip mask I have noticed a couple things from the elf active line I think this came out last year this is the workout ready hydration stick so you can use this as like a little moisturizer or a primer really cool and it is only $2.99 it's a cute little lip strip smoothing sugar scrub from Laura Geller, so a little lip scrub. This is going for $3.99. Oh my gosh, guys, look what was sitting on this shelf. I almost walked by it, but I've seen some people find this, and I finally see it at my store, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Berry. This is seriously like the best lip mask. I love it, and I'm addicted to the scent. I have this, and I have the little lip the tube one I don't know what it's called but I have both of them because it smells so 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 good but so cool to find this here it is $12.99 here at TJ Maxx I'm so excited we found this so I just saw that they had some Bite Beauty lipsticks here um, there's a bunch of them lined up but they're all in the same shade which is Star Anise and this is the Amuse Bouche lipstick with Reservatol um, I'm not sure what that is. This one is going for $4.99, which is an awesome deal. This color looks like it could be a nice nude shade, so I'm definitely going to check this out. And definitely probably buy this because I absolutely love Bite Beauty lipsticks. And for $5, you really cannot beat that price. This is the color. It's really pretty. It's kind of a taupey nude. This one's been like side swatched, so I'm going to grab a different one. But I feel like this looks pinker on camera. But I'm definitely going to get this. I feel like I would definitely wear this kind of a shade. They also had this Laura Mercier eyeliner. It's the Instant Ink 24 Hour Brush Eyeliner, which I don't think I've seen this before. And this one is going for $9.99. Then I was super excited to see they had this Laura Geller Illuminator Palette, which looks so pretty. It has that holographic packaging again. It used to retail for $32 in here. It is only $5.99. You get three different highlighters in here. The ones you get are Diamond Dust, Opal Crush, and then French Fizz, which look like really pretty colors. This one almost looks like a pinky purple. I wonder if that's the diamond one. I feel like this one's a diamond because I have that. Otherwise, I totally would have bought this. It's so pretty. I still kind of want it because the shade looks so nice. And the other ones, I think, are limited edition. So I think I'm going to think about this just because it looks really, really pretty. 
maybe I'll give away my diamond dust and use this instead. I was looking over the lip products and I'm pretty sure this might be a new shade. Um, this is the Urban Decay Vice Special Effects Lip Top Coats, which we've seen before. But this one's in the shade Third Degree, which I, th I think is new. This one's $5.99. And of course it is a really fun gold shade. Not sure if I would wear these on the lips, but hey, it could be a fun idea. So I stopped by Marshalls and they didn't have too much, but look what I found, you guys. I, You know I said I was looking for this in my last video. The Wild Honey Mineral Blush and I found it. I just found one of them. So it's meant to be going for $7.99. So excited to find it and it's not swatched or anything. So I feel like I spoke this into existence. <laughs> so cool to find that and then also I'm really shocked to find this too the Marc Jacobs new nudes color and this one's actually in eat cake which is actually the one that I own it's one of my all-time favorite colors so I didn't want to mention it I didn't think it would be here but it is it's such a good peachy nude shade and these are only $8.99 would definitely recommend picking this up especially this color it's so good and I found another Lamarck liquid lip cream in the shade truth or bear which I I can't remember if I found this or not. I don't think I have, so I don't know. I'm probably going to get it. I might have to watch my other video and see if I found it because I really can't remember what shades I have found. But it's a really pretty, like, neutral pink color. So it is only $7.99, and if I don't have it, I am definitely adding this to my collection. They have quite a few really good, like, drugstore stuff here, too. I have the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder for $2.99. And then they also have this CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder, which I know a lot of people love this stuff too. This is only $2.99 as well, and they have multiple different shades. They also have this, the Graffiti Nudes from Maybelline, this fun palette. This is $3.99. And then they have the L'Oreal La Palette Lip, and this one is $2.99 for these cream lippies. They also have the Maybelline Master Camo Concealer Palette. This has six different concealers in it for $2.99 in the shade at $200, which is medium. And then they also have a CoverGirl Cheekers Blush. This one's really cute and pretty peach. This one is only $2.99 as well. So Marshalls has a bunch of these CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir foundations. This is actually a really good foundation, one of my favorite drugstore ones. And they have it here for only $2.99, so I would definitely pick it up if you guys can find it. It is so good. And this is in the shade 750. I saw this really cute Peter Thomas Roth set. It's called Life's a Beach. It has a instant mineral um, SPF 45 little sunscreen powder just super easy to throw in your purse and then a little mini cucumber gel mask It looks like this used to be $30 and here it is $12.99 Alright guys, it's a new day here at TJ Maxx in Marshalls I did notice they did add some new drugstore stuff at TJ Maxx including the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer This one is used to be super popular from Maybelline. I haven't I haven't really heard people talk about it lately though. It's only $2.99 here. We have the shade light medium. This is the only exciting thing so far at this store, but it is really cool because I don't think I've seen anybody find this yet. It is from Becca and it's called the Sun Chaser Palette. I know you can't really see in here. It's reselling for $19.99 and it looks like it comes with three different shades in it. Eponema Sunset, Apricot Blossom, and then there's one more that I can't read. But it has three different shades. Um, I'm gonna look up some more info about this. It seems a little pricey, like the Becca prices might be going up, because usually I feel like this would be like $14.99 or $12.99, but still a really cool find. I pulled it up on Google and it actually looks like a really nice little palette. You get a bronzer, blush, and a highlight. It's like the perfect little thing. I'm kind of torn on this one because I feel like it's a really nice set just to have for every day, but it's still kind of pricey. So I'm still going to think about this and maybe buy it, but at this point, I'm like, do I really need it? It looks like it's $34, so you're not really saving half, not quite, so I might wait on it. Actually, has some Lancome skincare up here too, which I don't recall seeing this before here. The Energy, the Energy Devay, um, it says antioxidant and anti-fatigue liquid care. This is $39.99. They also have the... Renergy Lift Multi-Action Firming Mask for $39.99 it looks like and then there's just one of each of these. This is the Energy De Energy Devi Pearly Lotion Smoothing and Plumping for $34.99. 
you can probably see my face in this packaging. And then lastly is this Renegade Multi Sika Skin Barrier Repairing Cream for $49.99. This is kind of dirty, but it's the Elf Active Post-Workout Cool Down Mist, which is kind of just like a facial mist for $2.99. Found some more Laneige, the water sleeping mask, which you guys all adore, I know. <laughs> Such a hot product from them. This is here for, let's see, they always cover the price with the sensor. Oh my gosh, $16.99. That is an awesome deal for that mask. I think it's like $34 or something, usually, or maybe more. But yeah, this one is so good, so moisturizing. I noticed they have a hard candy here, which I haven't seen before. Um, I think they still sell this stuff at Walmart, I'm not sure. But this is the Look Pro Smoky Eyes Eyeshadow Palette, retailing for $4.99 here. This is what the inside is, it just kind of opens up like a little tin. Here's something else from Hard Candy, the Look Pro Ultimate Contour and Sculpt Kit. I'm not like a huge fan of the Hard Candy brand, I have to say. I don't know if you guys are, you can let me know if they have anything good. But um, this is retailing for $4.99. I found a couple of exciting blush products here. This one is from Lorac, it's the Baked Matte Satin Blush. I have not seen this yet at TG Maxx um, in the shade Flaunt. This is going for $3.99, so a really good price. And this must be an older style from them since it's not like their most recent. I can't even remember the names of them, of course. Um, but it's more of like that baked formula in this really bright pink color. And this is exciting. From Laura Geller, we have one of their baked gelato vivid swirl blushes. I've never tried their gelato like blushes. I've just tried the highlighters from them. It's in the shade Rosewater. And it is retailing for $4.99 here color is absolutely stunning. I am loving this beautiful shimmery pink shade. I definitely want to grab this, pick it up, and try it out. It looks so stunning. So very excited about this find. I would love to find more colors, but so far I've only seen this one. So I found two more shades in the Marc Jacobs Lamarck Liquid Lip Creams. We have the shades Fawn Over Me and Slow Burn. By the way, these are $7.99. I've been looking for the Fawn Over Me one, so I'm definitely gonna be grabbing that. But I do wanna mention Slow Burn's one of like their best sellers. It's like a really pretty mauve. So I think we've seen all the shades of these now. I'm pretty sure I own Slow Burn already. I think that's the one that I actually bought full price a long time ago. So I won't be getting that one, but definitely a Fawn Over Me is a really pretty nude. And then I wanted to show you guys these as well. It's super cool from Bite Beauty. It looks like a little pill bottle, but this is the Sweet Treats Holiday Hangover Agave Lip Care Set. I think I'm gonna get this for myself. It is $7.99. And in here, you do get a mini agave lip mask in lavender, also a agave lip balm, and you get a trial size agave sugar lip scrub. So I feel like that's a super cute set. And I have tried their agave lip mask before and I really like it, so I'm gonna pick this up. They have like 10 of them here, so um, definitely check your stores if you guys are looking for this. I love that we're seeing more Bite Beauty. At TJ Maxx, I just found this little set as well. It's called The Perfect Pair. It has a, I think it's both minis of the Amuse Bouche lipstick and then lip pencil, it says, in the shade Gazpacho and then 078 for the pencil. Super cute little set for $7.99. A couple weeks ago we found a bunch of the Becca Glow Glosses and like the shades that are the same matches for their blushes and now they have a couple that are in the same shades as their highlighters. So we have the shades Rose Gold and the shade Opal. These are $6.99 for their glow glosses. This is up close of what Rose Gold looks like. It's really pretty and not too shimmery which I like. And then if you guys can see how beautiful is this. This is opal. It looks like a super pale pink. I don't see a ton of shimmer in it, which you guys know, I don't like a ton of shimmer in my lip products, but this color is gorgeous. It's like a nice milky pink shade. It's not at all what I would expect for the shade opal. And we keep seeing a couple different Lorac products here and there. Um, we see here, this is the Alter Ego Hydrating Lip Stain from them. This one is in the shade MUA, which is really cute, so makeup artist. And it is going for only $2.99. It looks like it might be a nice, like, plummy, mauve shade. Okay, so you know how we found the Becca Ombre, I'm pretty sure it was the Ombre Rouge eye palette. Well, now they also have the Ombre Nudes. So I'm pretty sure this is different. It is $16.99. I did look and it was all just like matte brown. So if you guys are into like that all matte, like supernatural look, this would be a really good one to pick up. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys that. 
I think the rouge one is like slightly different. They're very similar, so I definitely don't need both, but it is cool to see these Becca palettes. Alright guys, here. it's time for my haul portion of this video. I found quite a bit of stuff, and I bought quite a bit of stuff. I just can't believe like all this Becca stuff we're seeing. It's like their entire makeup range is hitting TJ Maxx. And it kind of makes me uneasy about buying from them in the future because I just feel like literally everything goes to TJ Maxx. Even their like Chloe and Malika collection is 50% off right now at Ulta and Sephora, which is crazy. But I mean, I'm not going to complain about it because I like to get the discount on these things. But it's just insane to me that we are finding so much stuff from them. Let's start off with some Becca goodies that I picked up. First up, I did grab that Summer Radiance kit. It was a, a little bit on the pricey side for me. It was, I think, $12.99. Yeah. But I really wanted this little bronzer. I know these are both minis, but um, I do have one of her bronzers in Bali Sands. Really enjoy it. I actually saw someone on Instagram find the full-size bronzers. Only one person, I think, so far. So that's next up on my list to find. But for now, I'm going to be excited about having these little minis. So this is the bronzer in Capri Coast. Really nice shade. I'll swatch this for you too. It's very like buttery in the pan. There is Capri Coast. This will be a great shade for summer. And then of course we got a little backlight priming filter. You actually get quite a bit of product in there. So I did pick that set up. We also so excited to grab this palette, the Becca Aperisky Glow Face Palette. Originally, I was not going to buy this because for some reason, I thought it was just highlights. But you actually get like blush in here as well. So this is beautiful. I saw that this retails for like $54. So it was $19.99, which I didn't mind paying that. Usually, I don't like to spend $20 on stuff at TJ Maxx because you guys know it's always really cheap. But I thought that this would be worth it. It's so stunning. It was really funny, um, when I go to TJ Maxx, I go to like four different TJ Maxx's in one day, and they all had this on the same day, but they only all had one of them. So it's like they all got the same products on the same day, apparently, and then the next time I went, they are pretty much all gone, so this one is probably a little bit hard to find. I'll go ahead and swatch these as well, since you guys probably want to see. I remember when this came out, I always wanted it, and I never purchased it just because I was like, I don't know about that. Here's the first row. So stunning. So I'm so glad that I waited and I could get it for half the price. This is going to be beautiful. You can even use that as a bronzer. There's not so much shimmer in there. The only shade I probably won't use is this one here. It's super dark, but I might try to use it maybe for a blush. We'll see. But yeah, super excited about that find. And then, you guys know I was looking for this last week, the Becca Mineral Blush in Wild Honey for $7.99. I cannot believe we are finding these. I have been wanting this shade because Casey Holmes always used to rave about this one. There goes my washing machine, <laughs> sorry. Anyways, it's a really pretty neutral, almost like blush bronzer in one. There it is, swatch, it's gorgeous. Cannot wait to try that. And then I think this is the last Becca thing. We found a glow gloss in the shade Opal, which is beautiful. You guys saw me obsessing over this color. It's the perfect pinky nude. And it really doesn't have a lot of shimmer in it. I don't notice any, which is weird because it is called Opal and their Opal highlight is like obviously a super shimmery highlight. But I'm really a huge fan of this gloss color and this formula is really good. Next we'll move on to some stuff from Laura Geller. I found the Baked Gelato Vivid Swirl Brush, blush, not brush, in Rosewater. I would love to find more of these. I almost actually passed this because I've kind of just been passing most of the Laura Geller stuff because I've seen most of it already. But you kind of have to keep an eye out because you'll find these random treasures just laying around. But how beautiful is that? Here is the Rose Water Blush. It is so beautiful. I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of that. And then I also grabbed their Life Glows On Illuminator Palette. I had to have it. It was too good of a deal to pass up. Even though I already have the Diamond Highlight, I think I'll end up getting rid of that and then keeping this one. So stinking cute. And here is the shades. I'm obsessed. This Opal Crush looks incredible. Also grabbed this primer, the Spackle Treatment Makeup Primer. It's a mattifying version, so I thought I would go ahead and try it out. 
I remember when the Spackle primer used to be like everything on YouTube and I could definitely use a mattifying primer. So we'll definitely be trying that. And then I did grab some Shiseido Facial Cotton for $3.99. This is like the softest cotton ever. And then I also found the Bite Beauty Amuse Boucha Lipstick from their, I guess it's like their Spices line. I don't know. There's a few shades in this collection. I've only seen this one so far in Star and Nice. But Bite Beauty lipsticks are one of my favorite formulas. They're so creamy and beautiful. This shade is like kind of taupey. It reminds me of the NARS lipstick we found a couple videos back. But it's like kind of a taupey mauve undertone. Also from Bite Beauty, we did pick up the Sweet Treats Holiday Hangover. This super cute, it comes in this little pill bottle. And then you get, this is supposed to be the lip balm, I believe. The Gave Lip Balm. And the Agave Lip Mask in Lavender. Excited for this. And then you get like a sample of their lip scrub in there too. So I thought that was adorable. It's not the best deal when I looked at this. I think it was like, what, like $12 regular price. But it is super cute. And then um, I did pick up some simple makeup wipes. I don't have those by me right now. But I did pick up two packs of those. I love stocking up on makeup wipes at TJ Maxx. Especially the simple brand. Um, and then lastly, I picked up the Marc Jacobs Lamarck Lip Cream in the shade of Fawn Over Me, which is, I think, their lightest shade. So here's Fawn Over Me, like the perfect nude obsessed. So that's everything I got at TJ Maxx and Marshalls this week. Um, lots of great finds as usual. Every week I'm like always nervous I'm not going to find anything, but then somehow we always like hit the jackpot every week. I don't know how. But let me know down below what you guys are on the hunt for, if you guys stopped at your store, if you found anything different than me. I love seeing what you guys find as well. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>